Hello YouTube, so if you want to learn how to attack and capture a community, it's actually fairly simple. Um, I'm going to explain it to you real quick. So right here you see a level 2 community for this clan. So for new players, you, go, you when you go to your... Uh, events tab there's going to be a savior and it's going to look like you can just go and do a community yourself but no actually your clan will have to um, uh, t uh, move out uh, build outposts near the community so what's going to happen have to happen is your clan starts off with a base and all of the outposts connected to you know all of the outposts connected to it are active and the ones not connected to it are inactive but you have to have a base for basically your territory to work um for example this is a territory from a clan who you know that's not really active anymore they left you have these moving dotted lines at the border of the territory um, to show that it's inactive so what's going to have to happen is uh, your clan leader will have to build tiles from the base all the way to the community and it and the tile will have to be adjacent to the community and then the community will have a certain amount of uh, waves of zombies so you have to kill uh, about a hundred waves of zombies for a level one community and then level two as as the you know the value of the community goes up and and the level goes up um of course the more hordes now really i i think the the survivor camps are actually the level one communities like they're level zero communities and you get 50 uh prosperity do not sleep on camps so this is a survivor camp and so if you have ever done a survivor camp taking communities are about the same way you just have a certain amount of uh hordes you have to build uh, the uh camp has to be in your territory and then you have to defeat a certain amount of hordes. Now, um, whether you should go for a community depends on the current politics of your the area surrounding the community. So if you have a much, much bigger clan um, near the community, uh, you could go for it. And you may have the community for like a few days or so. But if that bigger clan wants the community, they're basically just going to take it. Um, so I would say if you want to have your own clan, say you want to have your own clan. If you're joining a server where the sanctuary is already taken, and I mean, even if the sanctuary isn't already taken, uh, just getting communities and you know staying afloat as a big clan is just going to be an uphill battle no matter what so when you first start the when you first when you get in a server um and if your map is cleared then that means you your region has had its first region chief but don't look at all these clans and be like okay so all of these clans are bigger than me and they have uh, uh communities and all of that don't look at that and get discouraged because uh, a number of things will happen. The region will continue to evolve. And I'll give you an example. When I first moved into this area, there was like two huge clans around this area that had this community up here, that community, this level two, commu two community, you know. And that clan just, for whatever reason, just dissolved. And they had communities like they were, you know, they were decent, but they just decided to quit. So, I mean, certain clans uh, will decide to quit. People don't stick with this game. You know, certain people, you know, clans will go dead. People will stop. 
being active in clans, and then you'll have an opportunity to, you know, advance your clan. It's not difficult to just go and destroy all your outposts, remove all your outposts, remove your base, and move somewhere else. So, say I'm right here, say one of these clans with a community quits, and these big clans, you know, the top clans, say it's just a, a clan that just have like a little level one community. And I have 60, so I slowly build up over here 60 people. But then when that level one community comes, you say this clan right here, what, what clan is that? USSR? Okay, say this clan quits or merges or whatever. And I done slowly built up 60 something people over here. I could just take everything down, move over here, maybe get one of these and build around it hard and just make it hard. You know what I mean? And then just slowly work my way up, maybe get this level one community over here again. So things like that. Um, the politics in, on your map are not going to remain constant. Even the people at the top, like they're going to get tired of winning. Is it going to be people in the top clan that get tired of winning and quit? And then, you know, there will be a space open. So uh, it's a little bit simple, but it's complicated at the same time. Uh, my advice is to do what you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you you can't have a clan or it's too late or all of that because it's not because people are going to quit. Uh, clans are going to merge people gonna move and all of that stuff this server is not gonna remain the same forever you know what i mean so um go ahead on if you want to join server 173 uh i prefer if you would join my clan and uh join me on my journey moving up and of course your base might get put on well, this definitely is going to get put on my YouTube channel because I will be doing videos as my clan grows. And I'm very happy with the progress this clan has been making so far. And I hope to attract, you know, more people to the server, more people to my clan. If you don't want to make, do it, make, uh, join my clan, make your own clan. That's still going to uh, add to the experience of the game whether you join my clan or whatever you understand so uh yeah that's communities for you you have to be to review you have to be a, a clan leader to you know build toward a community and initiate that battle um uh then you have to fight a certain number of waves of zombies to capture the community and you have a time limit so you have to kill all of the waves in a certain amount of time and uh say if the community is owned by another clan they can garrison the uh, community and uh, you know just send troops there to to defend it so that's one thing and, you know, that that could stall you and make you not be able to finish within that hour or not. You know what I mean? But it, it's, it's pretty simple. But but it's it's simple and it's complicated at the same time. But it, it, it really is that simple. You, you build next to it, then you fight it and then it's yours. OK. All right. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.